All right, this is going to be a room tour of the of room number 850 at the Sheridan Myrtle Beach Hotel. Uh, if you couldn't tell, this room is at the end of the hallway. It's kind of weird. Anyway, room 850 is a King Junior Suite with a balcony, one of only, I believe, 11 or 12 in this whole hotel. There's the hallway. Let's step on in. So when the first thing you'll see when you come in, there's a nice little hallway right here. Got a nice mirror just before you leave your room. One of these light switches here. Window here. Here's a map. The um, eight. So all these rooms are standard rooms. Number 850 is the only one in the whole hotel with a balcony. There's only one room layout with a balcony, and that would be at the very end right here. None of these rooms have balconies, even this one. Um, 832, the 32 rooms are, I believe, it are executive suites. Um, they connect with 834, I believe, and uh, the presidential suite, um, as well as some other um, big rooms like that are there. Um, yeah, this is the eighth floor. There's 12 floors total. Here's the view at the first window. Um, nothing too impressive. You can see uh, something out there. Yeah, you probably can't see it. It's a helicopter. Um, there's a little Ferris wheel down there. And the uh, I'm guessing the employee parking lot. Down here is the convention center. Uh, so we'll go into the room here. Uh, here's the bed. It's a corner room, obviously. So... Um, goes in there, but uh, here we have a microwave, coffee maker. In here, we don't have a fridge, even though there should be one. The fridge is actually underneath the TV, which is kind of stupid. They should have put shelves there in the fridge here, but whatever. Here is my stuff, um, but you have your work center here with superchargers. Well then, that took a lot, long time to come up. Two outlets here, two outlets here. Okay, I just switched the TV off, but uh, here's the king bed. You can see the backboard is pretty nice. Um, pretty comfortable. Still a spring mattress. Come around to this side. You have a clock, which this is actually the same alarm clock I own. Um, I really like it. It's only like 15 bucks off Amazon. They look expensive. They're not, but they're really nice. Sony makes them. Um, anyway, in here you have the standard stuff. Uh, and here is the other side of the room, looking from the back corner, hallway. Uh, there is the living area, living room, TV, swivels. Um, down here we have your fridge that comes with a freezer. Oh, what is this? A uh, Myrtle Beach Visitor's Guide. Drawers, drawers, drawers. Oh. That one almost didn't close. Here we have your ice maker which are free. Always check that. We'll go into the bathroom here. And I really like the bathroom. It's actually really, really long with lots of counter space. And this is interesting with those handles in the, in the bathtub. That's good, I guess. Here's all the stuff that comes with it. Got anything you may need. Is that mouthwash? That's mouthwash. No drawers down there. Oh, there's one down here. Nope, that's that's a, a bottle opener. That's a bottle opener, all right. I did because if you just want to drink a can of or bottle of something on the toilet, I guess you have the option to. I've never seen that in the Sheridan before. Or any Marriott hotel. Um, over here we have a, a, a seat. It's comfortable. Glass table, coffee table, and this is a sofa bed. Um, there it is. A little bit dirty. Um, this place was renovated not too long ago. Also not recently, but that's okay. Thermostat here. Set to 64, 65 now. Oh, it, and then this is a nice big balcony. Look at those colors. Very large. 
Look how big that is. There's the couch and there's the door. It's huge. Let's come out here. Close this so no bugs come in. You got two seats there. And you have a nice ocean view. Um, kind of, you, you can see it past the other hotels, but uh, here's uh, Myrtle Beach, a little bit nor more north of the of downtown Myrtle Beach. That's kind of downtown Myrtle Beach area right here. Uh, actually, you can see Hilton Grand Vacations right there. Uh, here's the lobby of the hotel. Here's the rotunda downstairs. You can see it's like four floors high. This down here says South Carolina Hall of Fame. Don't know what that is. And uh, here's part of the convention center also. This is the so this is the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. And uh, top. I'm not sure if that's Top Golf or not. It may be Top Golf. Uh, stadium. And uh, yeah, there's a park right there. And uh, this is walkable to the beach. Um, it's just down the road and then two more blocks. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, I'd say it's about half a mile. So it's not far, about a 10 minute walk. Uh, there's the top of the hotel, presidential suite up there. Uh, as you can see, even the presidential suite does not have any balconies. So that's, in so that's interesting. Um, only these rooms do. One of the junior suites. So we've only got 11 of them. Other than that, this is the room tour of the junior suite. I paid for for this room. During Keep in mind, during the week, I'm checking in on a Friday and leaving on a Thursday. Um, the rate was $74 per night which is cheaper than most of the, a lot of the other hotels right now on the beach. And the, uh, you know, the downside is this is not on the beach. Um, anyway, hope you like the tour. That's it.